What's up guys? I just want to start this little short video by saying thank you. A big thank you for all the support. You guys have pushed me over 3,000 subscribers. So everybody likes to put the big number up there. There's been tons of watch minutes a month. It's crazy. I can't believe you guys are watching me this much. There's so many great comments. So many people saying, you know, I've watched your processing videos and now I'm just, uh, my images are completely different. And that is awesome to hear. That's exactly, exactly why I did this. And I do this. This is hard, people. But yeah, and some weird ones. I've got some weird comments. You know who you are. Stop it. Again, mega thank yous to all of you out there uh, supporting the channel. And uh, trust me, I got lots of new stuff coming up. And as I learn, I share. I don't know it all. But what I do know, I want to pass it along. I want to pay it forward. So enjoy the video, the little short video on slewing to an image. Okay, so here's the scenario. You've found a target, you shot it the night before, and you had to adjust the framing just slightly because you've plugged in the right ascension and declination coordinates. It got you close but you had to do a little bit of slewing, offset slewing in the ASI Air Pro to get it centered up just right. And you were so excited, you got everything going on, and then the next night you go to shoot and you were like, wait a minute, where exactly did I long press? On what star did I long press? Because I want to get the exact same framing. So what I'm going to show you is how to use the image that you took the night before. Don't get rid of them. I know you want to move them off your disk, you're excited to see them, but leave them on there, leave a couple of them on there, especially one good one, because you may use that night after night to actually adjust your framing. So let's slew to an image. All right, so what I've done is I've already polar lined and got everything set up. The mount is back in the home position and now I'm ready to slew to the target. So if I click my target uh, directory here, I hit that and I'm gonna go, and what I'm shooting is the wizard. So I'm gonna touch that. But guess what, if I slew to that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna slew to an offset position that I really don't like. Um, and then I would have to actually long press an area on the image to try to get the scope to slew to that position. And it may not be the same every night. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually slew to one of the images that I've took recently. So instead of doing this, instead of going to the wizard, I am actually gonna back back out of that. I'm gonna go over here to this uh, icon here for our storage, click it, and I'm gonna go image management. And then I'm gonna go to my auto run. I'm gonna go to lights. There's the wizard. So here's the wizard nebula. Uh, let's just pick an image here. Just click any one of them. All right, so that's one of the upside down images. Let's find one that's actually right side up the way it is on the east side of the meridian let's scroll on down here all right so we've got the image that we previously took a couple nights before i still have these saved on the uh, usb drive i have not removed them so guess what down here at the bottom it says go to just press that and right now what it's doing is it's plate solving that image it's going to plate solve that image and it'll let you know what it has and it'll say are you ready to slew to that target and so that way, if you don't want to take the time to actually program in your target each night or get it right and actually recreate a target, you can just use one of the pictures from the night before. So it says plate solve succeeded, go to. So we could go to, and the actual scope is slewing. You might be able to hear it, I don't know. And so that's a quick and dirty way to actually use the image that you took the night before to actually slew to the target each night. Now, ASI Air Pro people, ASI Air in general people, what would be really nice is if it would tell you if your rotation matched. And if it didn't, it'd be really nice to t if it told you how to adjust, you know, rotate two degrees, uh, counterclockwise, clockwise, something like that. That'd be really nice to have because I did take my camera off. I did clean it. I thought I put it back in, in a really spot on position, but it's always off. 
And so it'd be really nice for that to match as well. So it is actually slewed to the target. It located it. So now we're ready to go over here to our guiding and get our guiding going on our target and shoot away. Short video, quick little tool that is uh, something else that you may not know exists in the ASI Air Pro. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments or questions down below. And until next time, clear skies and clear minds.